Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video, we're going to create the dash effect with this little camera delay. So, yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the third person folder and to the blueprints. Let's open the PP third person character. Let's find some empty space so we can create a new custom event. Let's call this custom event dash. Let's move it a little, little bit further down and let's add a new variable. Let's call it can dash. Let's compile and let's make it true as default. Let's compile and save. Now let's add a key. So right click and search for a key or you can create a new uh, key on the settings on the input section. Let's select, select any one of these keys and let's click from here to map it to, for example, to shift. Now we want to add a branch on the pressed and we want to check if we can dash. If we can dash, then we want to call the dash function. And now here in the dash function, or actually this is event, but it doesn't matter. Here, what we want to do, we want to first set the can dash to false. So we cannot like keep pressing the dash and do it like multiple times again. Like, you know. After that, what we want to do, we want to get our capsule component and we want to get forward vector. So we will get the vector uh, that is facing forward or like where what our capsule is facing. And now from here we want to multiply and we want to multiply by float single precision like this. Now let's make this value like 200,000 so 200000. Now let's get our character movement. Let's add impulse. Let's connect it to here connect this to here. Let's actually look a little bit better. So let's move this here and press Q to align them. And now after this, let's add some delay. Uh, so delay, let's make it like two seconds. After that, we want to turn this can dash back to true. So we can dash every two seconds. Okay, now let's compile, save, go back to the third person map and let's play on the new editor window. Now, we should have a working dash like this. And we cannot like keep pressing it. It will not work. It only works every two seconds. Now let's add the camera effect. So let's go back to the third person character. Let's select our camera boom. Here we can see this enable camera lag. Uh, the default is 10, so let's try that. You can see it is already lagging. A little bit, but you can obviously make this even slower. So five, you can see it's looking better. But now you can see our movement is also lagging behind, or like the camera is lagging behind the player, like normally. But yeah, you can set it however you want. But now the dashing is looking pretty nice. But yeah, I think that was actually all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.